What up guys, welcome back to another Teppin video here with Fort Misery Gaming and today guys I'm going to go over some of the rewards you guys can get from level, uh, like around level 5, level 1 to level uh, 30. Uh, so some of them I've already done unfortunately, but the way you can kind of figure out um, what ones you guys uh, have access to is if you go into your, uh, if we go into edit deck. And then we go into all of our cards here. So let's first do, let's do just green. Um, so if we just click on green by itself. If you guys notice a lot of the cards that are going to have duplicates, like here, honey, more than likely, and especially like the Mega, so Mega Man X cards here. So secure supply route. That was definitely an X reward because I got three of them and then I have three regulars. And then this is a basic card. You guys will notice when you click on them, you actually cannot reap them. Um, so like there I can reap the Reckless Charge, but anything that is a basic card, um, meaning that you should only be able to obtain this from leveling the heroes, which means you can't get rid of them. Even the non-hollow version, I can't sell them. So you're stuck with keeping these. Um, so this I believe was a regular reverse hollow. Uh, so that's a good way you guys can check. So we can start with Mega Man. So Mega Man X, you're going to get, um, and obviously you're going to get Zenny, you're going to get Souls, you're going to get, um, or I don't think Souls, like you're going to get Packs, and you're going to get uh, Zenny as well. And I do have all my level ups from 5 to 30 with Chun Li available in my box. So we'll go over those at the end so we can kind of see everything as a whole. Um, then here, you guys also hear, I believe this is another Mega Man reward. Um, those, those are the guys from the X series. Sibling Memories, that's another reward. You guys can see the reverse hollow of that. Then we have here, uh, this is gonna be Mattel C15. Pretty much a garbage card, it's just 2-5 vanilla hero. Tons of better options for that, so I wouldn't run that. Uh, this, actually, Kyrie's actually a pretty cool card, and she is a, uh, I believe she is a X reward as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think she's a Chun-Li reward. Obviously, we only have two heroes per element, so if it's a green green card and it's a reward from a hero, it's either Chun-Li or Mega Man's reward. Um, so we have those. Let's see here if we got any other ones. I do have my Mega Man to level 39, I believe, so uh, you'll be able to see a lot of those. Rebecca Chambers, I believe she was a Mega Man reward, even though she is a Resident Evil card. But I believe this version of 4-drop Rebecca Chambers, and you guys can see her once again. Both of them, you cannot reap them. So they are, you know, hero-exclusive cards. So those were, um, those I believe are Mega Man. Uh, this, I believe, is Mega Man as well. Once again, you can't reap it. It's a 2-4 flyer for 4. So there you go. That's another Mega Man reward for you guys. Let's see, what else do we got? This, definitely a Mega Man reward, you guys can see there. Supply, and this is actually a very, very good card in a lot of the green decks, so definitely rock your hollow versions, guys. Uh, let's see, what's next? We have Zangief, obviously a Street Fighter chun -Li reward. I believe you get this early on, because this, I kept all my rewards from level five and up. So this, I believe, is, oh, actually, no, it's not. It is not, because I can reap that, okay. So this is not a Chung Li exclusive reward, or at least um, this version was a reverse hollow pulled. And yeah, I can even reap the regular versions. So uh, Iris actually is a regular epic, so you can't uh, you can sell those if you get those. Uh, then we have let's see here. This is going to be a reward. I can't remember if I've gotten Sasquatch yet or not. I believe that is a Street Fighter going to be a. Um, going to be a Street Fighter uh, Chun-Li reward. So Paradox is a exclusive reward. So you guys see there, you guys do get those. I remembered that because I don't have the hollow version yet. I would assume we're probably gonna get the hollow version later on in his rewards. And then we have Rakul as well. Um, I believe that is, oh, that is not. Yeah, these are regular actually. So Rakul are regular, they're regular in the box. This, obviously, X is a Mega Man reward. I believe you start with like three copies of this in your deck. Um, and then I've gone far enough along in his level up system to get his hollow versions. So, well, big thing too. So we'll go and chug these later. But so those are all the rewards I can think of from Mega Man X. It sucks because we don't really have a resource like a wiki that actually shows the full list, like from zero 
250. So I'm doing the best I can to compile a list for you guys. So what I might do, since I can kind of figure out where they are once I get like my heroes all to like level 30, I may do like a full level 30 and do a whole template thing for you guys once I do that in a couple weeks, um, possibly, maybe sooner, depending how much time I have over the next couple weeks to do that. So that is for wind, or for earth, wind, earth, green, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I think it's wind. Um, and now let's go into to red. So red freezing fangs. And because I have both of them leveled up, I'm not sure which one are Ryu and which one are uh, Rathios, but I believe this is Rathios. So there you go, number Rathios 009. So actually, actually it does tell you what deck they are in because this is Rathios 009. So, uh, so yeah, that's one of his cards. Obviously it's gonna be another Rathios card, 010, Fire Wyvern's Roar. So you're gonna get six copies of that. This is, they should say Ryu, right? Oh, it just says C-O-R. Oh, this is a core card. Okay, so this is not a Ryu exclusive card. Dan, obviously a Ryu exclusive card. So there, there you go. So that's actually really cool. You can actually tell exactly which character they come from. That's actually cool. Just figuring that out on the fly. Never really pay attention to that. But Dan, you're going to get six copies of him. Three hollows and three regular. DJ, obviously another Ryu card. Ryu number two. Uh, then we have, I believe this is a uh, Rathios card. Yep. So uh, Machine right there. So Colonel is his name. And then we have, let's see here, those guys are not exclusive. All right, this guy is exclusive. This guy is Neon Tiger. This is, oh, actually he's not exclusive. That is a core card, my bad. This is though, <laughs> Path of the Warrior, uh, Ryu number nine. Uh, let's see here, my Ryu's at 30, so I should have the majority of at least singular copies of like all the commons and rares at this point um okay ken isn't he yeah ken ken is so i don't have hollow versions of ken yet so i would assume we are going to get hollow versions of ken eventually uh sagat is all is not sagat is a core card core card core card this is a ryu card so again this card lady more than likely is going to get a hollow version so that's probably going to be in his rewards from 30 and up then we have bariath that is a rathos one card then we have let's see here i don't think that's a ryu card no that's a core card that's a core card oh, no this is a ryu card okay so hadouken this is actually a pretty good card for its cost four for four mana uh five damage to any unit is actually pretty pretty good cost effective wise because fives are kind of, you want to be careful how many you run, but this is strictly better, obviously, because it's a legendary, but this strictly is better, um, simply because when I first read this, I thought it was only the ones you have on the field, but it's total units on the field, so it's anywhere from three, actually, well, it has to be minimum of four damage, because there's at least going to be the one enemy on the field you're going to target, so minimum of four damage going all the way up to nine potential damage for a unit, depending if the whole board is full. So this is actually, I thought this card wasn't very good to begin with, but it's actually very, very good uh, targeted removal. Um, you can only have one copy, unfortunately, because it is legendary, it's not epic, but still a very, very good card uh, for that as well. Um, so let's see if any of those, I don't think, yeah, those are all core. The Sagat may be a Ryu. Yep, yeah, so Sagat is a Ryu card, so for a 3-4 for 5, and it deals 2 damage, 2 direct damage to a hero. Uh, so that's pretty cool, actually. And then this is another Ryu card, Claire Redfield. Uh, vanilla, 3-6. That's kind of mediocre for 5, in my opinion. Uh, then we have a Rathios card, Leon. is going to be another exact same thing, 3-6 for 5. Pretty mediocre. So you probably won't run that once you guys get further in the game. Um, and then this is another Rathios card. So Zynogre, a 3-5 five for 5 with Rush. Because it has Rush, it could be somewhat usable, depending on where you guys are at. Uh, this is a 3-6, though, for Rush. So strictly, this is just straight better, because it's a 3-6 instead of a 3-5. So obviously, uh, even though that's an epic and this is a rare, <laughs> this is still better, simply because it's in the box set. So that's why they made that lower rarity. Uh, all right, so that's a core card. Sakura is a core card. She's really, really good, uh, but she's not obviously in there. 
Um, and then Sakura's uh, Fighting Spirit deals 6 damage. And simply, this is going to get phased out eventually because you have Storm Tornado, which is strictly better because it does do that Pierce damage. Um, this is still a really good card. Even though it's only a rare, it's still actually a really good card. Um, I would say run 1 to 2 in your deck. It's really good. Dragon Lord Judgment, insanely good card. Fireball for 12, if you guys know MTG, it's insanely good. Uh, Ryu obviously is going to be a Ryu card. Uh, he's uh, Ryu number 8. I'm sure you were going to get Hollow Origins of him later on when I level him up further. Uh, let's see here. Rathios obviously is a Rathios card. So it's a 2-7 for 6 with Flight. I believe I have the... And this is the actual Rathios. And this is another Rathios basic card as well. Rathios number 8. 3-6 for 7 with Flight. Is that the same one? Oh, it is the same one. My bad. Oh, no, no, completely different. Okay, so there's two different Raphios cards. One is a 3-6, and one is a 2-7. So one has one more health, one has one more attack. And then we also, if you guys did not see this, this is the exclusive Anime Expo Hollow version. So if you guys, uh, obviously you get the three regular copies, so it's the same exact card as this, right? But if you guys want the pretty Hollow version, there's a QR code going around. Um, if you guys are in any of the discords, I'm sure you guys have heard about that by now. All right, so it looks like we're at the end here. That's a core card. That is a core card. That is a core card, very good card. Um, and then this is your other version. Does four damage to all enemy units, so still pretty good. Um, Equivalent-wise, it can potentially do as much as Judgment does, um, but Judgment can possibly do more damage to specific units where Hado is always going to be uh, four to all units. So I would say Judgment is still infinitely better. Plus, Judgment only costs five. Hado costs seven. That's very, very pricey. So once you get to late game, I wouldn't play that card anymore. Uh, and then that's obviously a legend, so that's not going to be... Uh, I don't think I don't think we have any legends in the actual hero decks, um, to my knowledge. But I just wanted to go over. That's the stuff I've already unlocked. That I can't go back in time to see in my in my present box. So I wanted to go through all those for you guys. So you guys have kind of an idea of what you guys can expect from the level up rewards. Obviously, I don't know exactly what levels you're going to get all those cards. Uh, but, you know, those are available. So the main thing I want to show you guys is don't go after crafting certain cards. If you know they're going to be in the... Because you can actually craft... Um, like, you can... Oh, actually, you can't. Can you? Hold on, let me see here. Like, I want to go to... I actually want to go to the Chung Li. The Acos Chung Li. I actually want to see that real fast. Can I actually craft that? Or can you not even craft those cards? You can't even craft them. Okay, never mind. So you can't actually craft these. So that would... Ba that should mean that any of the legendaries that are in the core set, you pretty much can't craft them. That's what I would assume. Because you can't... It doesn't even give you the option to craft. Because, like, here, I can craft this, right? And, and actually, it won't even let you craft. Uh, see, why could I not? Why am I allowed to reap that, but I'm not allowed to craft that? That doesn't make any sense. That's so weird. But... It, oh, well, it's an epic. Why can't I... I don't understand that. That's really, really strange. Oh, I see why. Okay, because that's a reverse hollow, and I can't craft a reverse hollow. Okay, that makes more sense. But you guys see there, I cannot craft any copies of basic cards that are in the, basically, let's think of them as the starter decks. So, that being said, if you guys see a legendary, so for instance, if I want to filter just legendaries, um, and I see these here, uh, you guys know, um, I want to do just legendaries. There we go. Um, like Mega Man Origin X. If I wanted to craft him, there's absolutely no chance I could, I could guess, potentially get him from Mega Man X's level of rewards. So, that being said, you could guess can kind of determine what you could expect from the level of rewards if you look through all this stuff. So... This is a core card, so you can pretty much go through the whole list. So, if, say I want to isolate green, 
um, right? I can basically go through this and see anything I don't own. And unless it's a core card, so that is a core card. That is a core card. Let's see what else I don't know. Origin X, obviously. So that's it. So you pretty much at this point, once you get to 30, have unlocked all of the regular cards um, that you can get. So it's going to be interesting because I know from 30 to 40 is all cards. There aren't packs. There aren't any, uh, there isn't Zenny and there isn't tickets. So it'll be interesting to see what the rewards are from 40 and up if they, you go back into getting Zenny and tickets and souls and stuff like that. We'll have to see. But at any rate, I wanted to go through and show you guys the other rewards for Chun-Li. So let's go through here and we'll go through each level so you guys can see. And then that'll wrap up today's video. And I hope this was some cool information for you guys so you guys know what kind of cards to look out for and what hollow versions you guys can get. Basically, you should get a hollow version of every single basic card for every hero. So anyway, chung -Li level 5, you're going to get 60 Zenny. chung -Li, or I'm sorry, yeah, level 5, you're going to get 60 Zenny. Chun-Li level 6, you're going to get a defense stance. Level 7, you're going to get a core ticket. Level 8, you're going to get two copies of the 8-drop Chun-Li. That is a 5-6 with plus 2, plus 1, whichever she wins a fight. And then you're going to get 50... Oh, that's her daily mission reward, my bad. Uh, level 9, you're going to get 60 Zenny. Level 11, so once you get to 10, that's when it goes only every... Oh, no? Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. All right, level... <laughs> where was level 10? There was no level 10 reward, huh? So they skip 10 and go to 11. All right, sure. All right, level 11, you get a pack. Level 12, you get a one copy of block. Level 13, you get 60 Zenny. Level 14, you get one Hakai, if I'm saying that right. Uh, level 15, you're getting one, one pack. Uh, level 16, you get two Oath to Father. That's a really good card, actually. Um, a shield for all green units is really good. Uh, level 18... Oh, so once you get past 16, it looks like then it's every other, every other level you get a reward. So level 18, you get 60 Zenny. Level 20, you get a Chun-Li uh, uh, avatar icon thing. Then level 22, 60 Zenny. Level 24, a hollow Blanca. Then you are going to get a hollow Serbian body at level 26. Level 28, you're going to get three, or I'm sorry, three hollow bodies and three hollow Blancas at each of those levels. And you guys see here exactly once you get to 24. So 24 and up is all cards, right? So you get three Azorios bodies, um, or Ar Arzorios, three Arzorios <laughs> at level 28, three Severian hollow bodies, and then three hollow defensive stances at level 30. So that is gonna be everything that I so far have compiled on my account of what stuff I've leveled up to see what you guys are gonna get from leveling up your heroes. Like I said, I know for sure um, through 30 through 40, um, I know Mega Man X didn't get any packs, any Zenny, anything like that. So uh, keep that in mind, guys, that you know while it is really good to level your heroes, I would say get all your heroes up to level 30 because that's, or at least up to like level 22, it looks like, because that's where you're gonna be getting the Zenny and the packs and things like that. I guess you don't get any souls from leveling up. I thought you maybe did. But you don't, it doesn't look like you get any souls from actually leveling up the individual heroes. So you'll have to get those through uh, pulling packs and converting cards or uh, certain mission rewards like climbing and PvP rank and all that stuff. So, But I still feel it is super, super relevant to level up all your heroes. So you guys are getting as many of those packs and zennies as you can to improve your decks. And I mean, like I said, this game is such a long period for a season and it just came out. So you guys don't have to rush PvP. Take your time. Wait till you got a really good deck that you're really happy and it performs really well before you're really going through the grind of trying to climb rank. So, this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys did enjoy today's content here on Teppin, make sure you guys drop a like down below, subscribe, and enable that bell notification so you guys are notified when we post videos and when we go live. And I'll see you guys in the next Teppin video. Peace out, guys.